Question 1. What is PLC? Answer. PLC means Programmable Logic Controller. It is a class of industrially hardened devices that provides hardware interface for input sensors and output control element. The field IP include element like limit switches, sensors, push button and the final control elements like actuator, solenoid slash control valves, drives, hooters etc. PLC senses the input through IP modules, processes the logic through CPU and memory and gives output through output module. Question 2. Applications of PLC Answer. PLC can be used in almost all industrial application solutions right from small machine to large manufacturing plants. Even it caters applications of redundant systems at critical process plants. Question 3. Explain the role of PLC in automation. Answer. PLC plays most important role in automation. All the monitoring as well as the control actions are taken by PLCs. PLC senses the input through IP modules, processes the logic through CPU and memory and gives output through output module. Question 4. Explain the role of CPU. Answer. This component act as a brain of the system. CPU consists of arithmetic logic unit, program memory, process image memory, internal timers and counters, flags it receives information from IP device, makes decisions depending upon the information and logic written and sends information through the OP devices. The CPUs are distinguished with following features. Memory capacity, instruction set supported, communication option, time required to execute the control program. Question 5. Explain the role of rack or chassis in PLC system. Answer. A hardware assembly which houses the processor, communication and I.O. modules. It does following functions. Power distribution, containment of I.O. modules, communication path between I.O. module and CPU. The chassis are available in different slots in various PLC systems. Additional chassis can be connected using chassis interconnecting cable. Question 6. What is role of I.O. modules? Answer. Electronic plug-in units used for interfacing the IP and OP device in the machine or process to be controlled. IP module receives data from IP devices, push button, switches, transmitters, and send it to processor. The OP module receives data from processor and send it to output device, relay, valves, digital slash discrete, sends and receives on slash off signal, analog, sends and receives variable input or output signals. Question 7. Difference between fixed and modular PLCs. Answer. In non-modular PLCs the processor will have inbuilt power supply and I slash OS in one unit. The modular PLC will have separate slots for components like power supply, I.O. modules. You can select the I slash OS or power supply as per the need. Question 8. What is meaning of resolution in I.O. cards in PLCS? Answer. It is the minimum change in IP parameter which can sense by the IP card. As far as digital I.O. is concerned it takes only one bit for operation. In case of analog input the resolution determines how much bits are used for input or output. For example a 12-bit resolution card means the input will come as 0 to 4095 count. 2 to the power of 12 dot for 16-bit data the counts will be from 0 to 16. 65,536 2 to the power of 16 dot more the resolution the data will be more accurate. Question 9. What is analog output module? Answer. An I.O. module that contains circuits that output an analog DC signal proportional to a digital value transferred to the module from the processor. By implication, these analog outputs are usually direct i.e. a data table value directly controls the analog signal value. Question 10. Explain source and sync concept. Answer. Syncing source type modules gives out the current to the field digital devices while sync type modules draw current when the device is in high state. Syncing. When active the output allows the current to flow to a common ground. Sourcing. When active current flows from a supply through the output device and to ground. Question 11. What is forcing of I.O.? Answer. Forcing the I slash OS means making the desired status of I.O. in PLCs irrespective of its status coming from the field. In certain cases when there is problem in receiving field input slash output, we can force the I slash OS so that the logic takes desired state. 
Question 12. How to program PLCs? Answer. Every PLC manufacturer have their own software for programming the PLC. For example, Siemens uses Semantic S7 Manager. Alan Bradley uses RS Logix and Modicon uses PLC Pro programming software. The programming language used is Ladder Logic. LD statement list STL functional block diagram FBD sequential function chart SFC instruction list E etc question 13 what is ladder diagram answer this is a programming language which expresses a program as a series of coils and contacts simulating the operation of electromechanical relays the resultant program is the equivalent of an equation which is executed continuously in a combinatorial manner the advantage of this language is the familiarity many electricians have with the simple operation of relays disadvantages include the complexity of large cross-connected programs and the difficulty of expressing such non-binary functions as motion control and analog I.O. Question 14. What is redundancy? Answer. The capacity to switch from primary equipment to standby equipment automatically without affecting the process under control. Redundancy means provision for standby module. In case of failure of one module is running process, the standby module takes over. Part redundancy means the changeover of control from active processor to standby processor in less than one scan time. Question 15. What is the need of redundancy? Answer. In critical processes, it is important to run the plant without failure. In such case it is important to have redundancy so that even if one system fails the redundant system can take care without affecting plant.